guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a day in the life vlog and before we jump into it, I wanted to explain some of the footage a little bit because it's actually somewhat of a flashback vlog. So this is from when we were in Ohio. I vlogged before the holiday as we were getting into our new house and getting set up. So you'll see a little bit of that and a whole lot of Target haul and items that I picked up for the house kind of showing you guys a little bit of behind the scenes there. But I realized as I was editing it back that I make a couple of references in the video to the people who redid the house it made me realize I never actually gave you guys a little bit of background on the house that we bought so we did buy a house in Ohio um, what's really cool about the home that we loved is that it's actually a century house it's a hundred years old which is not uncommon for our hometown um, because it's like a historical college town but the house that we bought is super old foundation wise, but we actually purchased it from like a construction company that just totally gutted it. I think, I feel like I slightly mentioned this in my like catch up video, but yeah, they took it all the way down to the studs and totally revamped the inside of it. So the whole home inside, like the kitchen, the bathrooms, everything brand new, nobody has ever lived there or owned the house before us. But the foundation of the house is a hundred years old and the house itself is old. So you might hear me reference a little bit about that throughout the video. So I just thought I would explain that and also explain why you will see me putting up a Christmas tree <laughs> because this was filmed not in January, but actually mid-December. So I'm gonna take you back a little bit. We're gonna hang out and let's get into the vlog. I'm so excited for today's vlog because if you can't tell, we are in a brand new area because we bought a house. We are actually in Ohio right now. I have so much to share, such a life update sort of not a ton of stuff but we bought a house um we are not moving back to ohio it's actually a second home and i'm just so excited to give you guys all the details so all of that to come in today's video as you can tell we have boxes and we are very much in the process of like getting everything set up and settled in and all of that good stuff i actually have all of this stuff over here that i got at target yesterday that i'm getting ready to go on instagram live and show so I'll give you guys little snippets of that as well because we have a lot to do to get settled into this place. So let's go. Hello, okay, so I am going to multitask here because I'm currently working on building a desk and it is so hard to get things done with the kids around slash just with kids. So. I'm multitasking and gonna put this together while I catch up with you guys. So yes, the big news is that we bought a house. We bought a house actually in our hometown in Ohio. And so we are currently in the Midwest in Ohio. We are not moving back. That's always whenever I mention it, that's the first question I get both from like people online and in real life that we know, but we are not moving back. We actually bought it as like a vacation house, second home, slash future Airbnb. So we always knew we wanted to buy a house in our hometown. Like that's been a long-term goal of ours. We always kind of watch the market, both like where we live, we watch the market for just different places we want to live. We like window shop for houses that we cannot afford <laughs> all the time. Like we'll be watching like selling sunset level houses that we have no plans of pursuing, but it's just fun for us. It's like a hobby. And we often keep an eye on the market in our hometown. And this house had been on the market for a little while. And so when we came home in August, we decided to tour it just sort of on a whim. We were like, let's go check out this house in person and like get a feel for what it feels like to tour homes. And when, you know, in the future we want to buy them and we fell in love with it and i will do like a tour eventually i'm gonna give like snippets here and there i kind of wish i would have done an empty one but at the same time i do want to like maintain privacy <laughs> and especially because we live in such a small town so i don't know if i'll ever do like a full-blown house tour for the house but i will for sure show the rooms once they're fully decorated and everything like that but anyways so we came to tour the house and we fell in love with it. We literally scheduled a call with a lender for the Monday after we got back from our trip and we have been trying to make it work ever since. We got our offer accepted. We had a super long escrow process. It was like such somewhat of a battle because we were buying a second home, but first time homeowners. We'd never bought a house before, but this would be our second property 
in another state doing this all virtually from across the country so it just was like and we're both self-employed and we're both self-employed as of the last year so it just was nuts but we made it and we're finally here we got the keys a few days ago and it feels so good and now I'm just in the process of like putting together furniture and getting this place fully furnished it's like I've had all this all these furniture items on my wish list for months now we budgeted in the fact that we'd have to like get this place fully ready from start to finish like a coffee maker paper towels toilet papers hand soaps everything is brand new in the house which I can talk more about in a little bit but so it's never even had Wi-Fi before us being here today. It's never had shower curtains or curtains up in general. So we've, we're getting all that stuff put together. And then my brother and sister-in-law come in in a couple days and the two of them and Ezra, my nephew, are gonna spend Christmas with us. We're here for Christmas and New Year's. So it's just like a whirlwind, but it's super fun. So I'll bring you along and definitely share the process and share as much as I can while also Hopefully you guys understand being like somewhat private because it is like our house, you know? Like, I don't know. I've also gotten the question like, will we still be buying in California? And we will. So we're actually planning on buying out there hopefully within the next year. Our, we're still in the lease. We rent our current house and we love it. So we're kind of torn. When our lease is up, we're gonna revisit the whole buying process and see if there's anything on the market that we love and see if we're ready to pack everything and move. Christian has like best friends in our neighborhood. So I don't know, we're gonna see how we feel at the time. We love our house. So if we do continue for another year or so, it, we would be totally fine with that, but we'll just see. In the meantime, this is the big project. Looky looky who just showed up. Okay, so Christian, do you remember what I said? That there is something inside waiting for you? We thought we saw like a little guy running around or something. <gasps> oh, wow. All right. I'm gonna touch that button. See if you can find the little guy. We thought there was some, somebody running around like a surprise in here or something. What? Look. Who is it? That's me. Oh, man. He got all the way here from California? Hey, my toy got up here. <laughs> how, how, how many got? Bud, you want to go grab him? Here's a, uh, oh no, don't go. Oh, he's so dirty. <laughs> what, what happened here? Uh, just, what do you think, Garlo? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just picked up lunch. These are so cute. I just put these up yesterday in our in our kitchen wall. I had like some big spoons I showed on Instagram Live that I put up there for a hot second. I decided I didn't like it, so I put these baskets. And I love the way they look. We just picked up lunch from Aladdin's. This is one of our favorites. This is a kid's, kid's meal, but this is what Jordan got jasmine rice and chicken kids will probably eat some of that too i got some vegetable soup we only have plastic utensils right now um and a side salad okay so i went to target earlier today and clearly i got a bunch of stuff for the house that i thought i would show you guys just as i'm sort of unpacking and putting things away jordan has the kids upstairs so if you hear them going a little nutso that's why most of the stuff is home stuff first we needed a doormat, especially for this Ohio weather. So cute and so simple. Well, hello there. This was like $10. Um, also this accent pillow that I got in the dollar spot section. This was five bucks that I'm gonna put in our office back there, the room I was in earlier in the vlog. We needed a couple um, like hand towels for bathrooms. So I got, <laughs> I got these two packs. These are $7.99 from Hearth and Hand and they're so pretty and neutral. And then this is a pack of kitchen towels from the same line, just like nice and neutral. These two canisters, I actually have these at our house in California and I love them so much for the bathroom. I keep like cotton pads in this one and 
that I use for like toning my face and stuff. And then I keep Q-tips in this little one. So I got both of these to have in the bathrooms here as well. I just don't know which one, which bathroom I'll put them in, but I thought those could be helpful. And then speaking of Magnolia, I got the Magnolia table book. I also have this at our house, but it's 30% off at Target. And I thought this would be a good like little cookbook to keep in the kitchen. I love using cookbooks as home decor. I have a ton of them at our house, all in like neutral colors. So for this place, I got the Magnolia book. And then I got um, this one, which I actually didn't know there was, but this is by Drew Barrymore. It's her cookbook. Oh, I hear my phone ringing. I don't know who that is. I didn't know Drew Barrymore had a cookbook, but look how cute. And I love this like salmon color. It's called Rebel Homemaker, which I felt like was appropriate for my life. Um, so I thought this would be a good book to have as well. So these two books are gonna go in the kitchen, sort of as like a little accent on the kitchen counter. These are kind of boring. I just got like a whole bunch of washcloths since my goal for our Airbnb here is to make it like very family friendly. And especially because this is our home away from home, like this is our second home. So when we're not in California, if we're visiting here, we're gonna have the kids with us like Ezra, and my sister-in-law and brother-in-law get here in a couple days, as I mentioned. So we're gonna have three kids in this house for Christmas and New Year's. And then I'm hoping in the future when other families stay here, they'll feel really comfortable like bringing their kids to stay here too. So got a ton of washcloths. Um, and then just some basic tan towels from Room Essentials too. Hopefully the lighting is not washing everything out. One thing I love about this house is like when they redid it, they did, they did the lighting so right. There is very bright light in every single room. Like we don't need any lamps or anything. I'm getting some just to have because you know, you don't always want super bright light, but for me and my, my business, you do. So I love that. So yeah, a bunch of towels. These things are super cool. So Walmart right now, I couldn't find the link for them online, or not Walmart, Target right now. I couldn't find the link online, but they have these decanters. You've probably seen them. I've seen them in the dollar spot section, and then I've also seen them on an end cap, like over by the party section. Um, but they're $5 each. They're these glass decanters that are so pretty. They have like a gold detail on them too, and they're five bucks. So I got two with this like square slash diamond, depending on how you turn it, top. I got two of those and one with a round top. We have like a little wet bar area off our kitchen and I'm gonna leave it pretty plain for the most part, but I thought these would be just like pretty decor up there and then if people wanna use them or if we wanna use them for liquor or something, you could, but three gives you some options too. And then actually in between those, I found these really cute little plants also in the dollar spot section. These were three bucks each. So I'm gonna sort of do like an every other one setup, like a decanter and these little plants on the shelves. This one's really cute and pink. And then I got two of these white ones. I'm trying to add a bunch of greenery, faux greenery at least, because I'm not gonna have live plants here because they will die. I got some gloves. It is cold here, so as you can see today, I had on a beanie and gloves. I needed both of them. And these ones say they're tech gloves. They're 10 bucks from Universal Thread. And you know what? We're gonna do a test right now because I could not un unlock my phone and it's working. I could not use my phone in my other gloves, but I can use them in these gloves. So that's awesome. Thumbs up. Another decor item I got is this um, tissue box cover. My friend has these and they look so good just sitting around the house and Lord knows with kids, we need tissues all the time. So I got this cover and I'm actually in the kitchen. I think I'm gonna set a tissue box inside and put it like on top of these two cookbooks so that it doesn't take up a ton of room in the kitchen, but just like on the countertop. That would be like a cute little setup, I think. This is a Christmas gift for my niece babysitter's club she is four and will not be able to read this but her mom can read it to her so, to her and she is obsessed with babies babysitting right now so cute oh these are a couple so i don't know if this promo is still going on when you see this but today when i went in store a new day sweaters were 30 percent off so i got three because i packed so much for the boys for this trip and like nothing for myself i'm so not prepared so i got this one 
in this like dusty blue sweater i know it looks like way more victorian on camera than it does in person but i think you put it with some cute jeans and like rugged boots and it'll be really cute um this one's just like a basic like camel colored pullover with the weather here you cannot go wrong with things like that and then this one's really cute this is a big chunky cardigan these are all a little oversized i got smalls in all of them but i like how oversized they are too so i will link those down below these are a couple little book racks that i found also in the dollar spot section but how cute are they i'm gonna put them in the boys room here um, i'm trying to make their room like somewhat universal and like functional also for kids or whoever to hang out in there so the bed i got them it's actually coming tomorrow but it's a twin like trundle bed from ikea so that way the boys can sleep in it but also if guests are here in the future they can you know use it as extra sleeping space eventually i will do a whole tour like i said but the thought process for me is that this house can be used for like events or also for families of like 10 people so we've got two guest rooms where we are going to have two futons that can fit people also the kids room that will fit two twin beds with the trundles so stuff like that anyway i'm digressing but this wall bookshelf is super cute and it's got like this like boho detailing and i'm just going to stack them like this to have books in the boys room here they're five bucks each like that's such a steal okay and then the last two things i got at target are actually these pieces of art behind me so obviously i'm going with like a neutral color palette here in this house but there the house itself has like a ton of black detailing like who would have thought you would never expect that from me but yeah they used i think this is like the original the original um foundation of the house or something when they rebuilt it so the stairs are black there's this really pretty black wood wall going up the stairway so i have a lot of black accents going on in this house with like all the neutral any can you hear this going on <laughs> but anyway so i thought this would be really pretty hopefully in one of the bathrooms most of the bathrooms are pretty big here so they have like open space that i want to fill and i thought this was just like a nice simple print and then this one is one you've probably seen at target before it's this like gold metal like piece of wall art it's just the metal part and i've loved it for a long time but we just never really had a place for it in our house so when we got this house i was like oh i for sure want to get that and that's gonna go in our bedroom in the master bedroom and then this i also got in today oh, this most pretty coffee maker so the beautiful line also by drew barrymore at walmart has like the best kitchen stuff it's so pretty um i almost got the pots and pans but i actually got a farberware set for like way discounted at target but this coffee maker i could not turn down we are gonna have a keurig here because we can't live without a keurig but katora my sister-in-law already got one for us that i had her snag up in person <laughs> when it was like on major black friday sale and they're driving here so she's driving the keurig here that i demoed her to get on sale and until the Keurig gets here, we got this coffee pot. We're just gonna have both in the house because I don't know what people will prefer. Some people like old school ground coffee. So we'll have both. Um, but this one is like a really pretty white coffee pot with like a gold handle and it's a touch screen and stuff. So I'm excited for that. Speaking of coffee, I thought I would give you a little sneak peek about, that's wine, but a little sneak peek of our coffee mugs so i wanted like a full set of coffee mugs but i wanted them to be these really cute ones that have inspirational messages on them so every day whoever's staying here has ourselves included has like a little cup of positivity to start their day these are all from target and i just got multiples of the same ones that way there's plenty there is a dishwasher here so you know if you need to let them build up, there's plenty of cups. I just love how cute these all look together with like the different colors and everything too. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna open is actually from Modern Fertility. You guys have heard me talk about them before because I love their products. I've used several of them. I've done their hormone test kit at home before and I actually did a whole video last year. I'll link it up here where I shared my results and I talked about my experience with them. It was great. I've also used their prenatal pills. Those I love, they taste great. They come in a really beautiful beautiful recyclable bottle and reusable. They even have ovulation tests and then they have an app and a site, a website with a dashboard where you can store all of that information and track it. You guys know I'm never numbers driven, but the hormone test is really like 
the elite the prize for me i love it because it gives me a lot of insight into my reproductive health and my fertility health if you are somebody who wants insight or could use insight into that i would definitely recommend it this is everything that it comes with and you use this little lancet to prick your finger and do a blood sample that you can then send into their lab and they will give you all of the results it's a much more affordable option compared to what doctors can offer in terms of tests like this proactive fertility health tests aren't usually covered by insurance and they can usually run up to like fifteen hundred dollars if you get them done at the doctors this test is 159 and i have a 20 dollars off link for you guys so i got you there you can use the link down below to get it but what i really love about the hormone kit by modern fertility is that it can give you so much insight into your egg health it will give you insight into your ovarian reserve how your egg count how many eggs you have in comparison to somebody else your age with your similar background. It will take into account birth control you are possibly taking, if you're breastfeeding, if you're not. For me, the first time I took the test, I was breastfeeding. And so I got a lot of information, actually. I shared all of that in that video I made, but I couldn't get the full panel that's offered because you need to get a period in order for that to happen. So I recently did the test. Last month, I actually retook the test. I'm gonna show you guys my results in a second. And I got so much more information. And what was really cool is that the second time taking the test, they were able to compare my results and show me how my hormones had shifted or changed since weaning or since the first time I took the test. For me, a couple of them actually went down or actually changed. And one of them changed so significantly that Modern Fertility reached out to me, not not the collab Modern Fertility, like the service itself. Me as a client, they reached out to me and they were like, hey, we noticed this decrease. It was significant enough. We want you to retest. And they sent me a whole new test to take this month when I get my period. So they care a lot. They're following up. They wanna make sure that the results that they're seeing are consistent and accurate, and then they're giving you the guide or the tools you need to take to your doctor should you need to do something like that. It gives me such peace of mind because we do know we want a third baby eventually. I get that question all the time. Are you guys gonna have more kids? When are you guys gonna have more kids? We don't know when, but we do know eventually we would like a third. So this is sort of helping me do the steps I need to now to make sure that when the time comes where we do wanna get pregnant, it's not an uphill battle. I already have the foundation set in place. It gives me that peace of mind and we can just like jump right into trying when, if and when the time comes. All right y'all, so I am just like jumping right in and just showing you my fertility. <laughs> But this is an example of what their dashboard looks like. So the last time I tested was at the end of November, but I'll be testing again at the end of this month. It gives you insight into all of these different hormone levels. The one that they and I are slightly concerned about for me is AMH because it has dipped quite a bit lower. You can see it was slightly low the first time I took it and now it is low. So I'm going to retest this month to continue to monitor it. Um, but it gives you insight into all of these different hormones and then you can highlight over and it will give you information about each. You can also download a whole report that you can print and take to your doctor too. There are so many different tabs you can click on. So it's giving you a ton of information, not just like a standard set number. It wants to make sure that you really truly understand the results you're seeing. Um, on top of hormone health, it will give you ovarian reserve health, ovulation health, general wellness. It will talk about your thyroid health. And then with each topic too, you can click in to understand more like what does ovarian reserve even mean? Like I said, Modern Fertility wants to make sure you understand that. So here's a really good example of what your test can show you. For me, it shows that I may have fewer eggs than somebody my age. I may reach menopause earlier than the average age. And if I were to do egg freezing or an IVF treatment, a doctor might get fewer eggs from me because of my overall egg count. So the egg freezing and IVF portion is really, really valuable. If you are somebody who has struggled to get pregnant, this will give you an analyzed report of your current hormone levels and how they could translate into your experience egg freezing or doing IVF. And I mean, look at look at all this information. That's just on the topic of egg freezing and IVF. So it's pretty beneficial. And like I said, at the cost of what you're paying, the amount of information you get is so, so special. Especially the thyroid health one, that can often be a reason why someone might struggle to get pregnant. Not saying that's always the reason, but that could be a reason and modern fertility can help help detect that too. So like I said, I'm so thankful for Modern Fertility. I'm thankful I have my new kit here. They were so kind and they mailed it to me at our home 
in Ohio because of course mama has to get her period while we're on the road, am I right? So when my period comes, you're supposed to test on the third day to make sure that your hormones are where they should be in order to get really accurate test results. So on day three of my period, I will test again and I will keep you guys updated. It's like a little scary to me that, you know, it's it was something that raised a red flag, but I'm also super thankful that I have modern fertility because these are things I would have no way of knowing otherwise because I'm not typically someone who struggles to get pregnant or struggles with my period. So I'm not running these things at the doctor's office typically. So I'm really glad I have modern fertility to do that. And if you are interested in doing the same, visit the link in the description box down below that will get you $20 off at modern fertility. Mom, I know what I did. I've been pooping. Oh, awesome. Good job. <laughs> All right, it's a few days later now. The boys are in the backyard playing with their Christmas present from dad. Let's see, here they come. Hey, Arlo. You are doing so good driving it. Christian, push your foot down hard. Good job. He's doing good turning. He's doing oh, really good. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Arlo's like, this is not as smooth a ride is, as I when you started. I can't eat when you do this. I think he's starting to get over it. <laughs> the face. Arlo. Okay, so Katora and I, my sister-in-law and I just got back from a Target slash home goods run. So I thought I would show you what I got there. Kind of like a mini quick haul, but to give you an idea of some of the decor and how things are coming together in the house. There's a little sneak peek of our dining room. Um, some of this stuff is going to change over the next little while because I want to paint in here. The walls are kind of like a gray right now. I want to paint it white. And then I will like change the artwork accordingly to go with that. And then also this pendant in the dining room, I'm gonna change that out for like a rattan Ikea, more like boho style. So a lot of stuff will come together in the next few months, but yeah, I'll show you the home decor and the stuff I got today at least. So at Home Goods, I found this plush little bean bag thing for the kids. Christian fits perfectly on it. And I wanted something like this for their bedroom upstairs. These bar stools are from Target. And then I also found this lamp at Home Goods. How pretty is this? Everyone there was commenting on it and how unique it was. I just need to get some light bulbs for it, but I think it will fit perfectly, as you can see, perfectly in the house. And then just imagine once these walls are white, how nice and clean and neat everything will come together. But love the lamp. How is it? You guys are three hungry boys. flattering and Arlo is running around throwing the basketball and we also have laundry going so this is going to be a little chaotic but I thought I would show what we got today the best that I can so from Target got this really pretty base from heart to hand it's just like a nice classic white base and I'm actually I mailed myself some pompous grass I had extras at our place so I'm gonna use it for some of this as like a little plant accent probably over by the TV. Okay. Is that Arlo making noise with garbage bags? I also got this bench at Target for hopefully like a footstool type coffee table situation. I think it will look really good with the two chairs that we have in the living room. Also from Target, this Studio McGee wall art. I thought this was so pretty and it's actually gonna go in our bathroom because the people who redid the house, they left a couple random nails in the wall. That's why this picture, it doesn't totally fit the space, but that's why this is hanging up right now is just to like put something on the nail that was already there that was left behind. And so this is going to go in our bathroom for that. What's Arlo doing? We got these cute outfits for the boys from art class. We actually got them for all three boys. So my two boys plus Ezra have, have it as well. It's just like neutral tie-dye with a t-shirt and some joggers. So cute and good for transitioning to spring. And then oh, I found these sneakers. 
sneakers on like major clearance. These were like $20. Cute leopard print detailing on them too. Let me just show you guys what Arlo is doing. <laughs> that bag is the size of him. Right. He's wearing it like a toga. This is how we had to distract Arlo to get the Target bag away from him. Yes! And you want to hide too? Yes. Yes. So country. You not hiding? Arlo, you gonna hide? Where, where'd Arlo go? What? Where is he? He's hiding in there? <laughs> These things are probably just easier to show this way, but I got this sign that is pretty big, like to give you an idea of size reference. I got this at Home Goods for the boys' like little play area. And then we got this set of three also from Home Goods. So these will go behind the bed in the guest room. Got a couple of baskets for the front area underneath the stairs just for shoes and toys, stuff like that. And then this painting we also got at Home Goods. It's got like a nice rosy gold white tint but it's a little girly looking in here so i think i'm gonna put this in the home office in the front of the house so here is how that room is turning out so i think this will look much better up there and then we have a bookshelf that's coming that will go right here that's like really light and gold and pretty we'll do some more artwork it's coming together this is when we all realized last minute that it is snowing outside Yes. And get ready to go play. Where's my white cloth? You ready, bud? Yeah. I need you to get this kid ready. 